Hello everyone, thanks very much for checking out the video. It's been another hugely eventful week in the world of golf with a minor coronavirus outbreak on the PGA Tour. We have plenty to get our teeth stuck into, so without further delay, my name is Graham Curry and this is episode four of the Weekly Golf Rundown. So straight into the main news, former world number one Brooks Kepka and Graham McDowell have both withdrawn from this week's Traveller Championship as a result of both their caddies testing positive for COVID-19 only a few days before tournament play was meant to start. This is the 6th and 7th case of COVID-19 since the PGA Tour has restarted, which begs the case as to whether professional golf has actually started too quickly and have they done enough to protect players, caddies and also the huge entourage that's actually following these players around. Professional golf nowadays is a far cry from what it was 20 or 30 years ago. You know, you have the likes of Gary Player who told stories about having to sleep in the beach at St Andrews. Nowadays, players are staying in five-star resorts. They have physiotherapists, nutritionists, psychologists that are following them around at every event. And it's still uncertain as to whether the PGA Tour are actually doing enough to keep not only the players and the caddies safe, but the team that's following them about. Um, the PGA Tour haven't released any statement yet as to whether they will consider uh, making a change to their strategy or whether any events will be cancelled in the near future. The home of golf, St Andrews, has also announced that they will be accepting visitor rounds from the 1st of August forward, which will pretty much mark the resurgence of golf tourism within the UK. While this will obviously be great from an economic perspective, I am quietly very, very excited about this as I am a caddy myself at Castle Rock Golf Club and my job in summer is heavily reliant on golf tourists from the likes of North America and China uh, coming to my golf course and asking me to caddy for them. So from a selfish perspective, it's going to be fantastic to see uh, golf tourists return to our country and hopefully I can show them a good round. For those of you that consume a lot of uh, golf content on the internet will know that Rick Shields, um, the biggest golf YouTuber in the UK, has reached 1 million subscribers on YouTube. This is obviously an incredible achievement and he's the first person in the industry to reach this milestone. I think what Rick has done so well is that he's created a community around his content which is rich in golf instruction, uh, course vlogs and also unbiased reviews of products um, which you can't really find uh, to the degree of high quality production that you can on his channel. So kudos to him. While the content I'm providing at the minute is very much informative, I definitely do have my eye set on more entertaining and possibly visual content um, with the likes of drone footage um, and also document my journey as a caddy and also working on a startup. So more content to come. Thanks for checking out another episode of the Weekly Golf Rundown. Um, I really am enjoying making these videos and I hope you're getting some value out of them also. As my experience with video editing, uh, lighting and audio increases, then the quality of these videos are gonna increase with that. So yeah, stay tuned for all updates. As always, stay informed, stay safe and play well.